Good morning guys and happy move-in day. I'm already at Brown. We have all my stuff in the back. I'm currently waiting for my mom, my sister, my uncle, and my cousin to show up because they're all helping me move in today and they have the rest of my stuff. So we'll be waiting. I just stopped by the key office and got my keys. I'm in a suite this year, a three-person suite. So they gave me a key for the suite and an individual room key for my room. I'm really excited. It's my first time having a single in college. So I'm really excited to like have my own space this year. Okay, let's do it. Happy June. Junior year. Welcome to the crib. It's kind of ugly. Well, for now. Empty dorm tour. We have the closet, which is actually really big, and also another closet. Fridge, microwave. All of this that comes with the room, my bed, some really beat up walls, a little window that overlooks the quad. And yeah, dorm tour. Now we're going downstairs. So musty ass doors. Here's a random sink in the middle of their living room. <laughs> Kinda weird. This is their little living room. Happy moving. <laughs> we unload everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta pay for that. There's streets down that way. <laughs> Moving day in necessity. Help us. Thank you. Thank you. Nope. Wow, really doing the most. Slide the house down boots. So weird. Sometimes you just have to. Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's really stuck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sometimes, if we flip it upside down, you can like stomp oh, yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. oh. oh. <laughs> nice I think, job. Yeah, I think two is because... Finally, have everything moved in here. Um, we can go get them, get them lunch. <gasps> Holy shit! There is air conditioning. That is wonderful. You know what? I'm feeling so spoiled right now. Do you hear that? Yeah. There's air coming out of here. Fine. Dry clean, fit and cheap. My stomach is making noises. My walls have some serious damages going on here. That's bald. That's not okay. We just got back from lunch and I'm so tired. Can you please move? Please, I need to do this. If you don't move out of the way, we're gonna be sleeping here tonight. Pam. Yeah, all I of us. I don't care. We're about to take on the duvet. Hey guys, just finished putting my bed together. The biggest chore. Oh, love him. I moved some things around. We have the mirror here, tentatively. This, I like this, but I might still switch all of this around. Now it's time to start unloading all these bins. This is what I've done so far. Not very much. This is my freezer. My sister and my mom just went to go to the bathroom and then they're gonna go to the brown bookstore to do some shopping and they left me here because like they can't really help with anything else this is all kind of just like organizational stuff i want to do but these closets are massive genuinely such a dream it's time to reassemble this nightmare I finished setting this up. This is definitely where I'm gonna be putting this like rolling laundry hamper because look how perfectly it fits. I got this thing from Wayfair. This is so easy. I've just been like dumping clothes in these bins. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. 
sorry, I just went into like ASMR mode. Don't know what just happened. I'm so glad I found this. I need Panoxyl desperately. Didn't realize how much of an impact it had on my face until this happened. Yeah. I'm back with Pei. Show him your shirt. Uh, someone's tired. <laughs> down to school. I actually did pretty good this year. I didn't cry that much. <laughs> it does get easier each year, but it is kind of hard like driving away instead of like getting just like dropped off. So I moved in yesterday, but then I came home yesterday night because today my family had this like Labor Day party and we threw my sister like a little birthday party. So I wanted to come home and like see all my family and family friends and stuff. So that was really nice. I'm glad that I was able to do that, but now I'm driving back. Oops. I was doing pretty good till now. Obviously it's like sad and it's like bittersweet that I'm leaving and going back, but I'm very excited for the school year and everything that it has to hold. My mom does these every year for me. When I go to school, she just kind of puts together a cute little box for me to open when I get back to school. And I'm gonna open it with you guys on camera because that's also like a tradition of ours. Ugh, these always get me choked up. She got me little clips for my chip bags and they're dogs. She got me my favorite little candies. Oh, I literally love my mom. Oh my gosh. And she always does this. She gets me like an array of gift cards to all my favorite places. Chipotle, CVS. Oh, she, she treats me so well. She also gave me a $50 Target gift card and then a Texas Roadhouse gift card because we have a Texas Roadhouse like kind of near campus. And when I want to get off campus and like go out for a dinner, I always go there. Oh my gosh. That's pretty much it for me tonight. Tomorrow, I have some summer work that I need to do for one of my classes that I haven't started yet, but I'm fully faithful that I can get it done tonight. So, gonna be doing that. And then also I would need to like finish unpacking and organizing my room. So, you'll probably see me tomorrow. Okay. I literally sound like a man. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm getting sick or if it's my allergies, but I sound like this now. It's Tuesday, September 5th, the day before first day of class, F doc. Feeling good, but I need to finish putting my room together before the first day of class tomorrow because once it starts, it doesn't stop. For the most part, like everything's put together. I just like have to organize certain bins and just make sure everything's where I want it. Oh, I like actually don't want to do this. That I'm like... Oh. I also have like a straight view of the quad right here, which is kind of cool I guess but not really vibing with the whole like everyone being able to see me change kind of thing because I'm gonna have to put the shade down Every single time I want to change unless I want to flash everybody Okay, so this is my final skincare and makeup station. I love how this came out. I've been like loving these plastic organizers because they seriously like clean everything up. I got these ones from Walmart and they're super nice because you can take the individual containers off this base and like rearrange them how you want. And then I think I got this one from Target if you're interested. Got all the necessities, can't forget that. I'm so proud. I literally just did this all by myself. Don't really know how. I'm definitely sweating, but I did it. Hey guys, 
So that's pretty much it for my junior year move-in vlog. It's currently Saturday, December 23rd. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really wanna thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm sorry that this video is so late. I genuinely just have not had any time to get around to editing it until now. The good news is, is that I'm off from school for a month and I'm going back to school in less than a week from now because I have to go back to train for gymnastics because season starts super, super soon. So I'll be back there and I'll be able to do some vlogging. And I also plan on videoing some of our travel meets this year, which is really exciting. I've never done that before. So that should be fun. My first day of class vlog will be coming out next Sunday. We're starting to roll out all the old content that we can get into the new stuff. I'm really sorry that everything was so, so, so backed up. I really just got completely bodied by this semester's course load. We made it through, had a successful semester. I'm very excited for next semester and I'm very excited for season. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and thank you guys for all the constant love and support and just like patience that you guys have had with me. I know that I'm super off and on when I switch back and forth between being home and being more free for the summers and then going back to school. I know my uploading schedule can kind of be all over the place. So I just want to say thank you guys for like sticking by me and continuing to support me even when I do kind of dip off the face of the earth. Thank you guys very much. I love you very much. Something else that I wanted to say is that my earrings that I co-created with Ana Luisa are only on sale for a little bit more time. So before the year ends, I really recommend grabbing yourself a pair. These are seriously my favorite earrings and I know I'm really biased because I co-created them, but I'm genuinely in love with them. I basically wear them every single day since I received them, which was about a year ago. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're these little huggy hoops with a synthetic opal teardrop dangly at the bottom. They go with everything. They complement every single skin tone and complexion. They're super dainty, but also elegant. I'm obsessed with them. And also, if you guys didn't know, an opal is my birthstone. So that's why it's just kind of like a little personal connection to me. So if you want to support me, if you want to twin with me, feel free to click the link in my description box where you guys can shop these earrings. They're only on sale for a little bit more time. So grab them while you can. They're a great last minute holiday gift for yourself or for a family member. Also, super side note, but I got this top from Motel Rocks and I am obsessed with it. It's just like this little red square neck top and I love love it so much. I got my hair done yesterday and we went more of like a chocolatey brown color. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I honestly would consider doing my entire head like this color. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you so much for all of the continuous love and support. I love you guys so much. You seriously mean the world to me and I just, I don't know what I would do without you. I hope you guys have a great holiday season and the most amazing New Year's and I'll be sure to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.